and we're going to connect the bullet connectors of our motors to our ESCs. Now let's do that process on this arm. So the first thing we'll want to do is take our three male bullet connectors and just feed those to the bottom of the drone frame. And those will go through the holes of the arm. Next thing we'll need to do is flip our drone upside down. Now the first thing we're going to do with the ESC is push it as far back on the arm as it can go. Grab some zip ties and lock this in place. Now these zip ties might be long enough to secure the ESC in the front going across the three blue wires, but in the back, the width of the arm is a little wider, so it might be difficult to get the zip tie across the whole arm. What I've done is just um, use two zip ties in the back and used one zip tie to go around the black wire and secure it, and the other to go around the red wire and secure it. Now the ESC is pretty firm in place. What I would do is loop the blue wire down across the arm and then make it reappear again on the bottom side of the drone. Now we'll just take our male bullet connectors and plug those into the female bullet connectors of the ESCs. And there we go. Now in a future video, we are going to wrap some electrical tape or some heat shrink around these metal bullet connectors because right now, if the metal bullet connectors touch each other, well, the circuit is gonna short and your prop of your drone is gonna stop spinning on that arm and your drone's gonna crash. So that's why we'll need to wrap some form of an insulator across those metal bullet connectors. For now, we'll leave them exposed because we're going to need to do one thing to them before we progress to that point. But for now, just make sure that the bullet connectors are separated from each other and they're not touching and you'll be good enough to go to the next video.